Okay, I'm okay. peeking out of my audio All already, right. so I'm going to so, turn my um, audio down. So, we're going to debate. We're talking about Seabed Temple versus Cave yeah, Ark. Yeah, 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 because I already See, know the title for this video. Um, beating this random on Discord while drunk at 12.42 in the morning. That's, that's what It's actually 11.42. Oh, for you. Everybody's in the ninth in the time zone. Uh, okay, central so standard, so it's that, like central. Um, Yami would be above that. Huh? Well, that two things, right? Yami, yeah. says, Yami says that if the captains hadn't showed up, he would have broken his limits and gotten stronger. He said what? If the captains hadn't showed up, he would have broke his limits. And gotten even stronger, yes. Did you not know about uh, that? Isn't that like, yeah, I have a scan for that, but isn't that like a an assumption? Like, we're going to take Yami's word? Yeah, I'm going to take Yami's word. Well, why wouldn't that be like a statement himself hyping himself up? I mean, I don't understand. Uh, I, I don't see why it would. It can't be an ego statement. Like I, I can't just say like an ego statement. I hate whatever like the other side of the community says this, right? No, because no, no, no. Because you listen, have listen, listen, okay, Austin, awesome, Austin. Awesome. Let me explain something to you. Even while I'm drunk, right? You have an obligation to prove that these things are quote unquote ego statements. You simply throwing skepticism you have at no me. Proof excuse me. You simply throwing skepticism at me is not enough to disqualify my argument. Based on the statement given. Well, what, what can be asserted without evidence is what can be dismissed without evidence. Is I that, have evidence. You're asking me for what supporting evidence. evidence. Do you have that he was gonna that he was gonna um, surpass his limits. Besides that, his statement. statement. How, how, I don't. I don't need more claim? evidence. You're asserting. You're asserting that claim without evidence. So wow. I can dismiss. I have it. evidence. You've acknowledged my evidence. You're just saying it's not enough. But then I don't need any more supporting because evidence, right? Because that's an right? ego statement, bro. Like me saying, like me and you have now, no evidence like to claim say, that. You, okay, okay. I'm going to dismiss your argument without any evidence. Because your argument has no evidence. My argument has evidence. I have the preponderance of evidence. And thus we'll move on. Yami was about to... Okay, okay, Yami was about to break Spencer, his limits. Okay. Spencer, you have a fucking thing that Yami said as evidence. I don't think that... Can I get more evidence that he was going to surpass his limits? No, I don't, I don't need any. I have a preponderance. You have a preponderance. Can you, like, elaborate what preponderance means? A preponderance of evidence means I have the larger amount of evidence on my side. So if I have any evidence and you have no evidence, I have the preponderance of evidence. All I need to be able to say that my claim is stronger than your claim is to have the preponderance of evidence. Because it means okay. that... Alright, okay, this is cool, this is cool. Alright, I don't care about your suppressing this um, thing, but that's just some bullshit claim you made up. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, ahead, so Yami was about to get even stronger, right? Or okay, Yami did get stronger. How huh? stronger he was gonna that's get. that's fine. That's fine. Or Yami was about to get strong, or Yami did get stronger and didn't have like he he said watch him surpass his limits, right? He either was about yeah, to but get stronger. This is, this is like excuse me, Austin. Austin, I'm drunk. I'm mumbling. I haven't even got the argument out, right? Okay. So Yami was either about to surpass his limits and didn't get to show it off. Or he did surpass his limits and didn't get to show it off. Either way, it's fine. Because it means that none of Yami's high-end feats, or the feats where Yami's getting pressed, right? None of those count anymore, because he got even stronger, right? That's all I need from that well, part. You're, you're just judging based on potential. That's what you're doing now. You're, you're trying to scale Yeah, that's him. fine. You're scaling him based on potential. You can't quantify how much stronger he No, I'm, I'm not trying to say like, he I, got I'm X just, amount stronger. I, I don't think this is relevant if you can't, like, tell me how much stronger he Austin, got. Austin, Austin, let me, let me make something clear. I'm just laying the groundwork right now. I'm just saying none okay. of the feats that happened in X arc scale to full power Yami. That's all I need right now. They, I don't even don't... need to... Wait, Excuse wait, wait, me, wait, Austin. Wait, 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 Excuse wait, me, wait. Austin. Let me make clear what I'm saying. I'm not okay. asserting what a full power Yami is just yet. Simply, that these feats don't. It wouldn't have to be irrelevant because you can't quantify how much stronger he got. Okay? I'm not trying to. So, Why do you so keep raising your voice and acting like that's a defeater? Spencer, Austin, Austin, let me. Okay, Austin, I'm gonna loud mic now because you don't know how to listen. Okay, so this here's what I am doing. Okay? I am simply throwing away any means of contradiction okay, you that you may have had for my higher tier scaling. Spencer, I can't hear you. Good. As I was saying, right? <laughs> Next, we have 
You agree that Wait, like, I didn't just hear what you just said. We're not just going to pass by that, Spencer. Okay, you want me to say it again? What the argument that I just laid out was simply a means of undoing any sort of contradiction for higher end feats that I will display later. Do you wait, understand wait, 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 that, Austin? <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to his mama. Bro. <sighs> Spencer. I don't know. Hold up. Bro. Bye. Bye. I don't bye, bye, bye. Mute your mic. Alright, we're good. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay, so okay do you saying... need me to say it again? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you just said for um like Basically, for right? I said it was a quantified. Uh, basically. Remember? I am That's simply my problem. Okay, I'm gonna say this again. This is the last time I'm gonna say it. Can you hear me clearly, Austin? Yes, Spencer. Okay. I am simply using this statement in order to cut the threads or disqualify any means of contradiction for higher level Yami scaling that I will be uh, so, like um, putting forward later. Do you understand that? Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. So, so you're, you're aware that the Game Master, you're aware that the Game Master in the Temple Arc believes that Yami is so strong that his presence would not okay. like... All right, I knew you were going to bring up this point. Huh? I know you were going to bring up this point. I, okay, why would the Grandmaster be a credible source in terms of measuring? It doesn't matter because Yami agrees. Yami it why doesn't would, matter because Yami agrees. Has he, has he seen Yami fight? It doesn't matter because Yami agrees. And Yami would be a credible source of info on his own team. Because Yami agrees, that just makes it, like, correct. <laughs> okay, the Game Master asserts something. Yami... Yeah. Okay. Ooh, no. Okay. Okay. Right, you know the game master doesn't. Knows. Okay, the game master doesn't know anything, right? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll give you that. But Yami has knowledge Why? on the strength of his own team and agrees with the game master. That it would be unfair for him to beat. Him? Yes. All right. Where are you going with the Spencer? Okay, so that means that Yami. And the Game Master are both of the belief that Yami is above everyone inside the game. I don't know. In one-on-one -on -one combat, yeah. That's what he's Okay, about. okay. So then Yami is above Vanessa. Oh, okay. Or Fineral. Yeah? What happened? That would mean that Yami is above Vanessa or Fineral, yeah? In one-on-one -on -one combat, yes. One-on-one -on -one combat, Put emphasis on that. Okay, so then he's so also above. Bring up that. Wait, okay. so then All he's right. also above Veto because both of them can react to, and cannot be reacted to by Third Eye Veto. They can react to and cannot be reacted. What do you mean? Well, so mean they can react to Third Eye Veto, but Third Eye Veto has trouble reacting to their magic. That's that's before Veto goes like. All no, out. that's. He goes third eye you know, after that, Noel right? blows his arm off. You know, when when he goes all out, he literally fucking um, renders Asta, like, useless. No, he does not. Are we just, wait, that's are we after just, like, Asta... That's after Asta continues to slow down because of the and fatigue. That, this is all Excuse me. Because of the fatigue... By, wait, because go. of the fatigue caused by his injuries. Okay. Now, here we go. So, if we go back... To the initial fight between the third eye, Yami, Asta, and the captain, right? And I know you're going to bring up your little stupid statement, but that just, I don't... Uh, you've already agreed that that's a means of negating any contradiction you would cite throughout this arc. No, I just said I just said that statement could, like, you know, you could use that, but it's not going to negate everything I said. Yes, it will. Oh, my. You've also agreed to every premise herein, so unless, unless you absolutely win the point, that Veto is above Yami in this arc and therefore is in above in subsequent arcs, you've already lost the debate, Austin. And I don't think All you right. can win this point either. You don't think I can win this point either? No. Mm. Why is that? Because I already have my defense and I have a judge who will agree with me. Alright, what's your defense? I've already given it. The fact Wait, that I'm we sorry, know... Can you say it again? Can the fact that we know that either A, 
Yami was a or Yami was about to get stronger and couldn't display it, or he did get stronger and couldn't display it, would mean that any feats or okay, any... but you're okay. You're judging off potential. Yes, because that means that Yami has a higher potential, and Yami is the one okay, who would know his potential. Okay, but potential doesn't matter to me. me. I'm talking about his. Quit feet. cutting he me off, son. Feet. Quit cutting me off, son. Thank you. <laughs> what? So. He doesn't provide speech. Quit, quit cutting me off, son. Quit cutting me off, son. Thank you. I have inside speech. Quit cutting me off, son. Quit cutting me off, son. Go ahead, Spencer. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Spencer. Yeah, You're go being ahead. You're kind of retarded right now, Spencer. <laughs> I feel like this is a retarded argument. No, okay. Well, then, no, well, then I'll let you. I'll let you like um give your argument after this, and then we'll go to conclusion. Okay. Conclusions. What the fuck? You want to yeah. make a power move? Like, is there something I know that you don't, or is something that you don't know that I? I was the one who told you about that move. That like it's going to conclusion move. sounds like a power move. Yeah. All right, all right. For any for any aspiring debaters out there, here's the thing, right? Going to conclusions is always a power move, whether you know what you're doing or not, because then it sounds like you are confident that you won, and the other person is like. Get super scared and they get shaky about it. Anyways, I'm not. Right? I'm not shaked at you at all right now, Spencer. You're making a retarded argument. Okay. You're judging. <laughs> whatever, whatever pods embarrasses you in the judgment, it'll be okay. So as I was saying, right? You said what, Spencer? Whatever pods embarrasses you in the judgment, it'll be okay. Whatever so, powers embarrass you. Pods, six pods. The judge. Anyways, so judge six pods. Right. This will be my conclusionary statements on this point specifically. Right. Okay. So I'll why, simply why state that I never agreed to conclusions. On this no, point. On, on this, this point. point. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I think I've already preemptively discarded any any offense that he has by stating that Yami, as stated by himself, is about to get significantly stronger in his fight with the third eye. Right. No, it didn't say significantly. It just He's in conclusions. Quiet. Okay. I I, I do apologize. He didn't say significantly. He was about to surpass his limits, right? Which is some sort of amp to his magical, uh, his like magical and physical abilities, right? All right. All so right. I think that any any conclusion we can draw of Yami's strength within this arc would be discarded between this arc and the next arc, where I'm drawing my feats from, due to the fact that Yami says that he's about to surpass his limits, but because of the entrance of Jack, Charlotte, and Nozelle, does not have the opportunity to, seeing as they like protected him from the attack that he was about to surpass the limits against, right? Therefore... Spencer, uh, this is so retarded, bro. Therefore, I will continue to say that it's uncontradicted and I will assert that it is the case that Yami scales above all of his, like, team, right? Because his team is within the, um, the, or is allowed in the game, while the we game master... One -on -one excuse combat, me. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, his team is allowed in the game, while he is not allowed in the game, on the basis that he is too strong, I can hand you that scan, but it's already been agreed upon, right? And then, while the yeah, Game yeah. Master may not be a reliable source, Yami would be a reliable source of his own strength, right? So mm -hmm. he asserts, yes, I'm too strong to go in the game. You you have good eyes, is what he says specifically to the Game Master, right? Um, and then, on the basis that these people in the game can react to Veto in his third eye form, which would be stronger than he starts with because he would start in his base form, right? Okay, all right, all right. I'm going to ask you Excuse me. Seeing as he would start in his base form, right? Third eye form is significantly stronger. And these people can react to his third eye form but can't be reacted to by it, right? With their magical attacks, he has trouble reacting to them. That's we would have Yami above these people. And then these people would be above or relative to Veto. It, it would be what? simple to dictate that, like... It would just dictate that Yami got stronger, especially seeing as we can see that Yami has trouble reacting to Veto in why are this. We, why are we concluding this point? Spencer? In this original uh, arc, I, I've we, I we have, need I to have, conclude. Point is it is conclusion. Don't talk over him. No, because he's he's concluding Asta, the point without me wanting him to like conclude. The you point you already to agreed to go to conclusion. conclusions on the point. <clears throat> wait, did I wait? When did I? You did agree. On the point? I you said, said okay. we go to conclusions on the Literally point, said, okay. and then I can let you state well, like um. You cite your contradiction in the earlier arc, and then we could like uh, conclude the debate entire, right? So now that I've okay, got the conclusions on that point, the, the, oh, I'd like you okay, to cite okay. your contradiction in that initial arc. 
Okay, all right. So what I'm gonna say is, right? You could say that Yami is stronger than, um, like everybody. Are you trying to like crack you know? open the points that we've already gone over? Wait, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just like pointing out a contradiction that you like stated that wasn't like what you said in the debate, right? Because I, I was gonna go on another point. That's what I was gonna do. A contradiction, did he? Okay. So, what's your definition of stronger? Um, you said that it was like one-on-one -on -one phys uh, combat ability. I, I was fine with okay. that definition. Okay, so I'm saying stronger. It doesn't mean like. It doesn't necessarily mean faster. That that, that that's what I'm saying. Okay, he could be stronger, not faster. I mean, that would be an aspect of one-on-one -on -one combat ability. Okay, I said. Which is what you've already combat. stated. Stronger is. Okay, but speed wouldn't be a part of what I said. Yes, it would. Why would it? Okay, so let's 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 go back and like, seeing as you for some reason have trouble with your initial definition, I'll crack that open again, right? Let's okay, talk yes, about Spencer, let's yes, talk yes, about the you're saying, you're saying, excuse you're saying me, he's strong, excuse Spencer? me. Let's talk about the Spencer, adjective Spencer, or like Spencer, the I, defining can I traits. Point and then you excuse can me, no. You asked me a question. I'm going point, to answer Spencer? it. Spencer, can I finish with my point? You asked me a question. I'm going to answer it. Okay, Spencer, you can. You asked me a question. I'm going to answer it. Yeah, so, well, how are you going to ask him a question saying, without letting him have right? their chance to answer? So, this is specifically what the Game Master says. Dwaha, you're a touch too strong. The game wouldn't be fun anymore, right? And you agree yeah. that the game is fighting, correct, Asta? The game is, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fighting. So, fighting. so a fight wouldn't be fun if it ends quickly. Therefore, someone with too high magical attack power... Someone who's too smart so they can outsmart their opponent quickly, or someone that is too fast so they can speed blitz their opponent, would all so, qualify so, so as too so strong. So you're making the assumption that it, it would just be too fast? Is that what you're doing? No. I never said I, that. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm I never that said that, be, Austin. It, it would just be stronger. It was just, he, he would just be stronger than his opponents. Not Austin. physically stronger, I'm just saying. I'm not, not, not fast. So I'm here's the thing, about. right? If Yami is too slow... But he's super powerful, that he would never come in contact with the other people, even Wait, if he's relative. Was too excuse slow. me, excuse me. I, I'm <laughs> simply stating possibility in order to weed out like these decisions, right? So our ideas were they're too strong, too smart, or too fast, right? Those are the ideas that yeah, would make the I'm game not fun. Excuse me, Asta. Excuse me, Asta. I'm not done. They're too physically or magically strong, right? If they're too physically or magically strong, they would be able to one-tap these other people if they have relative speed. That implies that they have relative speed, right? So, huh? if they have relative speed... What implies that they are relative speed? What did you say? Under the context that they would be able to one-shot? One-shot. Okay. Let, let's just, like, easily deduce what it is not, right? We agree that Yami's battle IQ is somewhat lacking, correct? Correct. Um, Someone's lacking. Yes. Yeah. Then Yami isn't making like multi level plans in order to like take out uh, people very quickly. Like the smartest thing we've ever seen him do is use a smoke screen to hide someone. Yeah, that's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not that he's like too intellectually strong, right? Let's talk okay. about like his magical ability, right? His magical ability would only be um, like. Uh, of somewhat, um, or what? His magical ability would only be relevant under the context that he has speed matching the other fighters, right? So we'd have to be in the same area as Finro and Vanessa. In so, speed? Yes, he hey, would wait, have wait, to wait. be. So you're referring, you're referring to reaction speed. That's what you're referring to, right? Yeah, that's fine. Under is the idea like, that he has it, okay, well, so also not, magical creation speed, so attack speed. speed right? is that, is also that magical speed? creation, so attack speed. What? Also magical creation. Magical creation? Yes. Wait, As I was saying, right? Things? Huh? Wait, what are you saying? Magical creation? Where did you yes, so that would scale to their attack speed. Where did you get magical creation from? I don't I don't know where you're bringing up this point. Uh, how do you think Finral is able to keep up with Veto? F Veto directly with states that he... With spatial magic? Excuse me. Yes, magical creation. Isn't that like 
instance. Okay, all right. It looks like I'm at speed, but okay. All okay, right. so, so that would be attack speed, so right? So teleportation counts at speed? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about the ability to form the t like the portals. The speed at which that's you can form the portals. That's his attack speed. Okay, so in order for Yami, right, to be too strong by being too physically strong or having too strong of magic, he would have to have relative... Well, you only asserted that he's just like... Like relative Austin, reaction. cut me off again and I'll serve you, Mitchell, I swear to God. Okay. As I was saying, right? In order to be too strong, via having too strong magic, he would still have to have relative speed to the other fighters, which would put him relative to Fenrir and Vanessa, because if his magic is too strong but he is too slow, that would mean everyone gets out of his way. So you either the options are either his magic is much too strong... But he must still have relative reaction and attack speed to Fidel and Vanessa. Yes. Or he is too fast in general. Okay, wait. Do you understand Should that, Austin? Yeah. I understand what you just said. I comprehend it. So this doesn't, like, correlate with combat speed. Either. Magical this creation react. speed would be combat speed in the, in the context of Yabi. And reaction speed like, would be like, as well. You're aware that the drawing of the sword is actually the fastest thing in a in a katana wielder's arsenal, correct? The drawing of sword. Okay, yeah. yeah. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Like the the speed at which the sword moves is faster than anything else they can do. Like out of the holster, that is. So that would be his like reaction speed, which is fun. Yeah, I don't I don't know why reaction speed would be relevant. No. Because he would be able to defend from Veto's attacks. All right, but this doesn't prove that he's able to like blitz barrel like it, like you're saying. Well, I mean, one possibility is he has reaction speed fast enough that like Veto. Can... Excuse me, Austin. I'm speaking. Five times faster. Excuse me, Austin. I'm speaking. One yeah, of the possibilities ahead. states that his reaction speed and his combat speed and his attack speed are are high enough that Veto has trouble reacting to them in the context of Fineral, right? And another one. Or that he's able to react to Veto with ease, and Veto has trouble reacting to him. And the other one, right, would be, well, Veto just, like, can't react to him because he's above these people that he has trouble reacting to in the first place. So it's either one or the other. And I'm saying that no matter which one you choose, I win. Sorry, can you repeat that? You cut out a little bit on yeah. my end. So, as I was saying, right, we have two options in this instance, right? We have option one, where Yami's attack speed, or attacking combat, is relative to the attacking combat of the other fighters that fight Veto, right? Which he has issues with, issues with dealing, right? Then we have, or and also the reaction speed is so high that Veto can't get attacks in on them, right? He says that the only way that he can attack Asta is via getting too close to Asta for Federal to make a portal, right? Because he knows that his... The, excuse me. He knows that the magic surrounding him is so strong that Fenrir cannot make a portal inside of it. Um, you're aware of the, how that works, right? So so, so you're saying that, like, like close range... Co so he's, he's better at close range combat than... Him. No, that's not what I'm saying. That That's basically what you just asserted. You no, that's that. not what I asserted. That just disproves that it's um, Fenrir... No, that's speed, not what I asserted. Close range combat. Well, why do you yes, keep yes. implying that that's what I asserted? It's not. Do you want me to explain it to you again? Okay, so so what are you asserting with that Veto? I think, I think that's irrelevant then, Spencer. Veto's magical aura is incredibly strong. So strong that most people can't get a spell past it. This means that Fineral is not able to just neg him by making a portal super close and then sending an attack through it, right? Yep. So what Fineral has to do, what Fineral does do is, he is able to make a portal in front of Veto's attack and send it back at him from a distance, right? Veto states that this ability is so potent that he cannot kill Asta from a distance or any of the others, that he must kill them up close. Yep. Yami must scale relative or above this. Okay. So Veto would never be able to hit him. Veto would never be able to hit Yami? Is that yes. What you're that? Okay. 
All right, let's move to conclusions, man. <laughs> pause, pause. Do we need to conclude, or can you just give us a judgment? Six pause. Nah, I lost. <clears throat> no, I'm good. Um, literal I lost concession, before. right? There. I lost. Yeah. Good debate, Spencer. No, so it wasn't. Huh? <laughs>